Hi there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com. I appreciate you joining me on my YouTube channel. Hopefully uh, you've been here before and maybe you're coming back for some new phone procedures today. Let, uh, this time I'm going to show you how to do a BlackBerry data wipe on a T-Mobile BlackBerry Curve 8520. Now this is a nice BlackBerry. Instead of having the trackball, which they had had on previous models, this one has the trackpad. So less likelihood of that part of the phone malfunctioning. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. In order to do a full reset, we're going to go ahead and get into the menu options here. Uh, we're going to press the menu key. That's the one next to the trackpad that looks like a bunch of grapes. And if we touch that, you can scroll on down right here to the folder that looks like a file folder with a green sun in the middle. It says settings. We're going to highlight and select that. And then you're going to navigate to this wrench. That is for options. And we're going to press select. Now, on this screen, we have a couple options. Security options, encryption, firewall, information, or security wipe. So highlighting that last option there, you're going to press select and choose security wipe. Then we have some check boxes here. We're going to want to check those all. We're going to check for email. We're going to check the box for user installed applications. And we're going to check the box for media card. This will ensure that the phone is being completely reset. We're removing all data including images contact, email, and so on to protect your information. So once you have checked those boxes, you'll scroll down here. There's an entry field, and you'll be typing in the word BlackBerry. So just using the keypad, just spell out B-L-A-C-K-B-E-R-R-Y. Once you've entered that, then the option to wipe the phone. Let's see if we can get you to see that right here at the bottom it now is an option to select it says wipe so we're gonna highlight and press OK we get a warning erasing information do not pull out the battery until erasing is complete so we're gonna go ahead and wait there's a little clock ticking in the center of the screen there so while we wait let's talk about a couple reasons you might want to reset your phone maybe you're going through some type of warranty or insurance exchange where you have to send your phone back to your carrier uh, maybe you're done with the phone, you're going to gift it or sell it to someone else to use, or maybe you'd be kind enough to donate it to a service like ours so it can be reused here again in the United States. We here at Cell Seattle strive to keep cell phones out of landfills. They have lots of chemicals in them, things like arsenic, lead, mercury, nasty, nasty stuff that we do not want to see winding up in our landfills and then subsequently subsequently our drinking water. So as most BlackBerry users would know, um, the phones do take a few moments to think, so we're still in the process of resetting. Um, as a final step, once you're done with this, you would want to open the back of the phone and pull out your SIM card. Because this is a T-Mobile phone, it does take one, and that will just further protect your phone numbers, your call records, and any information saved on that SIM card. So we're still rebooting here. Um, one of the primary indications you'll know that it was successful is the screen will come back up. It'll take a few moments to load. Any personalized wallpapers you might have had, that will be reset to the default. Um, if you were to go through your contacts and things like that, that information will be gone. So please make sure you've backed all of that up before you do this reset. Otherwise, you could lose important information. But uh, basically, just the steps again are from the main menu to go down to the settings folder. From settings, um, we then choose security, and then security wipe. We type that word BlackBerry, and then the phone does reset. I'm going to go ahead and respect your time, because we know this is going to take a few more minutes. I'm going to let you go. But once again, this has been Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle. I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, please like this video, post a comment at the bottom, maybe subscribe to this channel. You'll get lots more cell phone news in the future. And uh, otherwise, I just hope you have a great day.